I don't trust naturals. And I will say, you can run. Boy, oh boy, you can jump. What I want to know is, can you win? Black and white is only... Canadian actor Stephen James plays legendary Olympian Jesse Owens, and Jason Sudeikis is his college coach in the new film Race, opening in theaters today. And here now with his review is uh, critic Richard Krause. Uh, boy, that's an interesting title for that movie too, right? Well, it's a double-pronged yeah, title sure. because it's the story of Jesse Owens, if you're not familiar with him. And I interviewed Stephen James last week, and I said, what did you know about Jesse Owens uh, before you played him right. in the film? And he said... Nothing really. I said uh, I thought that maybe he had someone was someone that had won a couple of uh, gold medals. I wasn't sure how many. I wasn't sure where. So if you're not aware yeah. of who he is, uh, he is the African American runner who, in 1936, kind of stared down Hitler at the 1936 Olympics and won four gold medals, broke world records, all that sort of thing. Uh, interestingly enough, played by a Canadian American yeah. hero, played by yeah. a Canadian in yeah. this film. And you know, so the title kind of works on on two levels. You've got uh, the race. Uh, uh, issue of Jesse Owens going to the Olympics and kind of blowing holes in Hitler's, you know, Aryan supremacy yeah, theory. Yeah. And uh, also, uh, this movie works best when it's in race mode, when it's on the track and field. Um, for me, this was a really compelling look at a hero's life. And it was interesting, though, that it was painted in, in, in various shades. He's not uh, always someone who makes the right decision all the way through the movie. But the most important thing is that he learns every time out when he makes a, a bad decision, he learns something from it, which is, um, I think, sort of more the definition of a heroic character. So it's a three-star movie for me okay. because it's got a, a great performance, and I think a star-making performance from Stephen James right. here, yeah. uh, in a movie that's a little bit old-fashioned, but a lot of fun. And how about Jason Sudeikis? I mean, he's got a uh, kind of a profile as a comedic actor. Yeah. This is his first work as a dramatic actor. He plays Lawrence Snyder, who was Jesse Owens' trainer yep. at Ohio State, and the guy that sort of pushed him towards the, uh, the Olympics. And he's good, but it's kind of a, you know, you can you can you can see him in the fedora, and as soon as he puts that fedora on, he has sort of this old timey kind of accent that comes out. Yeah, and it's a little old fashioned. It's a yeah. little bit melodramatic, but it's okay. Okay, uh, Risen. Risen is uh, an odd movie that is somewhere sort of between pious and pop culture. It is, um, you know, a movie that that plays kind of like Law and Order Jerusalem for a <laughs> lot of its uh, a lot of its uh, running time, like movies like The Robe, uh, which took you know biblical events and then built a story mm. around them. Uh, Risen is the story of a Roman centurion who is uh, charged with finding the body of Jesus Christ after the resurrection. So Pontius Pilate says, well, he didn't rise. I mean, that's impossible. So his body's been stolen. Find it so we can quell this uprising in Jerusalem. And so for a lot of the movie, it is a procedural. There is, you know, investigative techniques. There's all that stuff that, that you want from a, you know, a good law and yeah. order episode. Yeah. Then it starts to move into a different territory, becomes a real faith-based movie. It's a little less interesting in the in the second half, uh, but it's a two-star movie two, for me. Two for you, okay. And the third one here, uh, we've got a minute, The Witch. The Witch is the kind of horror movie that is not content to just say boo. It is the kind of movie that wants to burrow itself under your skin Ooh. and leave you with this sort of sense of unease and, and uh, queasiness. Set in 1630, uh, there is a, a, it's the story of a family who's been kicked out of a community in New England because they were too pious, they were too religious. They move to a remote area and strange things start to happen. This movie builds to a wild, wild climax Ooh. that you probably won't see coming. <laughs> and uh, it's not for casual horror fans. This is... Oh, it's intense. It's very intense. <clears throat> it's not Freddy. It's not Jason. It's something else. And it will make you think for a long time afterwards. So three and a half stars. Three and a half for that. Wow. <laughs> okay. I may, I may not... See the, the, the well, movie it, The Witch for a while. Yeah, yeah. The Witch is uh, it, the Witch is a, a, for specific tastes as well. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Richard. You'll find all of Richard's reviews on our website, CanadaM.CTVNews.ca.